Good day, David here, and welcome to another Evolution of Everything video. Sci-fi movies present no shortage of doomsday scenarios, asteroids, climate change, and super veganos just to name a few. But let's say that one of these situations actually occurs, and humans are annihilated with the exception of one male and one female. Could humanity actually survive? The answer is a resounding, maybe. With the only certainty being that the surviving couple is going to be very, very busy. Adam and Eve might have managed it in the Bible, but scientifically speaking, would two people be enough to repopulate a world from scratch? despite the inevitable health issues associated with inbreeding and a limited gene pool. Variations on this scenario occurs now and again in nature. They're called bottlenecks, and they include any events that causes a drastic reduction in population. Think overhunting and natural disasters. Certain species like dandelions are great at bouncing back from bottlenecks. Mow them down and they'll be back up before you know it. One dandelion seed in your yard produces thousands of dandelion seeds that are each genetically identical and spread exponentially. But humans are not dandelions. We require another human and about 9 months to reproduce. In bottleneck situations, limited options can cause problems. It's called the founder effect. When a small group gets isolated from the general population, obscure and often harmful traits become common because the so-called founder population limits possible genetic combinations. We already see this in isolated populations such as the Amish of Pennsylvania, where high incidence of polydactyly is common. One report looking at seized children born to closely related parents between 1933 and 1970 found higher rates of infant mortality and physical and mental disabilities. Then there's the widespread colour blindness on the island of Pindulat, caused after a devastating typhoon left just 20 survivors available to populate the community again. The European royalty and the strategic marriages therein, as another case in point, Charles II of Spain, to take the best known example, was born with a litany of physical and mental disabilities, something a team of Spanish scientists attributed to his high inbreeding coefficient. In other words, he inherited a lot of identical genes from both parents. There are plenty of other studies, but the underlying issue is the same across all examples, a small gene pool. Re-inherited diseases, including the aforementioned colour blindness, are usually caused when two copies of a gene are passed on by the mother and father. If those parents are also brother and sister, their genes are much more likely to be similar. The problem then propagates through the generations. And that's not all. Genetic diversity allows species to overcome problems get around changes in the environment. And that's precisely what's lost when close relatives reproduce, not to mention that the sperm quality is also known to be affected by inbreeding. So far, so bad. But there is still hope for a future Adam and Eve. The history of human civilization shows that several pockets of small survivors have managed to grow in number and overcome the mathematical probabilities behind the genetics. Take the Hunterite community of North America, descended from just 18 families. The evidence for the short-term effects of low genetic diversity is very strong. All these things are probabilistic. Given the nature of the situation where you are forced to repopulate the earth, isn't it still worth the risk for the survivability of the human race? So there is still a possibility that two people can repopulate the earth, given that they are male and female of course, but as with most things in life, there might be some consequences. That's it for this evolutionary everything video. Leave us a comment whether you think it's possible for two people to repopulate the earth. And why not give this video a like if you liked it. And subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this one. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.